Queer V here. Um, Merry Christmas. <laughs> and I am doing an Art Snacks box opening. Um, I got this for Christmas <laughs> from my parents. So it was a previous box. Uh, and it was the August 2017 box. So let's see what's inside. Alright. So first thing I see here is Amsterdam ink. Let me pull this out. I think I'm going to show you guys the products first and then read the descriptions later on. So in case people don't care about the descriptions so much. So this is some Amsterdam acrylic ink in olive green light. It's actually really pretty. I used to not like this color, like olive green, but now I think it's really, very pretty. Um, some Neko candy. The typical green package in the menu, but I, I don't see any sticker. And I hope it, it didn't fall out. I, I've seen what it looks like, and it's, it's super pretty. It's like a gradient with a bunch of different colors. I really like it. I hope that they will send me one. I will shoot them a message saying I did not get that in my box, and hopefully they will give that to me because it's really pretty, and I really want that sticker. So let's open what's in here. All right. Okay, so there's some stuff wrapped in paper. Ooh, the brush is, is nice. Okay, let me show you the one thing that's not wrapped up. It's a Faber-Castell Echo Pigment 0.7. It says, well, maybe I should do it this way. There we go. Do, do, do. You see that uh, nib right there? Nope. Okay, that's fine. Don't focus for me, camera. And make me look like an idiot. That's cool. Alright, that's not focusing, but it's just a regular, like, you know, like, what now? But it looks really nice. Um, okay, and here's this paintbrush. I'm going to try and open it real fast to show you. Ooh, and it does have a plastic cover, which is good. Feels pretty sturdy, too. Ooh, this feels really nice. Like, the handle is, like, soft. It's like, oh, it's it says Velvet Touch Princeton. It's a Princeton brush. And, yeah. It's a long round an eight. It looks really nice. I'm really excited about this paintbrush. Okay, and then I do these things go together? Yes. Okay, so these are Zig. It's an LP refill. And this is Zig letter pen. Get instructions. Body only. So this is the body of the pen. Okay, let me open it. I'll show you real fast. Do, do. How do I open this? Oh, there it is. I'm so bad at this. These are really sticky. Whoa. Alright. Let's get that out. Let's get this one out too. Show them at the same time. <laughs> Come on, don't want to make my video too long. Alright. Ooh, it's really pretty. I have no clue how to use this thing, but it looks cool. Looks really cool. And it's kind of sparkly. And there's like, I hope that the ink isn't like, I don't know, dried up or something, because it looks kind of weird there. <laughs> there's like a hole. <laughs> I guess I'll find out. I don't know how this works exactly. And then this is like the holder, I guess. Oh my god, please. I think it's upside down anyways. Wow. Uh, okay, you can take it apart. I don't really know. I'll have to read about this, honestly. <laughs> so yeah, that was all of all of the products in the box. Now let's um, read the menu. 
and see a little bit see these a little bit closer so first is the Amsterdam acrylic ink which I am the most excited about it's so pretty and I really like ink uh, or I've been using it more lately anyways um, okay so this is a $7.95 retail it is new to art snacks but this was you know like over a year ago <laughs> summer may be winding down but amsterdam acrylic ink will keep your days bright all year round this highly pigmented ink is extremely versatile it can be thickly applied like acrylic paint or dilute it with water to achieve watercolor effects shake well before using then feel free to work directly out of the bottle with your brush or use the convenient ink dropper Layering is effortless with this fast drying ink, so get creative and explore some new techniques. All right, so pretty. Okay, and then is the Princeton Velvet Touch Long Brush. So, oh, long round brush size eight, everybody got the same size, okay. 1425 retail, oh my God, the brush is like, um, is almost twice the cost of the ink. That's pretty intense. This this is an expensive brush. I think this is the most expensive one I, I own now. Oh, it's so soft. <laughs> okay, well, $14.25 retail. That's insane. Okay, paint in the lap of luxury with the Princeton Velvet Touch Long Round Brush. Its silky, soft finish wood handle complements the excellent performance of its synthetic fibers. Seven years of research and development went into creating these filaments meant to outperform natural hair. This brush is the ultimate mixed media tool and can be used with various mediums. Go ahead and try it out with your Amsterdam acrylic ink. Alright, this paintbrush is awesome. Okay, and now is with this Zig, I will figure out how to put this together later pen. <laughs> Zig Kokorio uh, letter pen body and ink. Four fifty combined retail. Customize the way you draw with the Zig Kokorio, I'm probably saying that wrong, letter pen. Derived from the Japanese words Kokoro meaning heart and Iro meaning color, this pen, oh, so Kokoiro is how it should be pronounced, I guess. Kokoiro. Um, this pen was made for you to choose each part separately to match your mood. From the pen's body color to the nib style, mix and match a variety of features to express your unique creativity. This month, we've included an extra fine brush tip refill for your new pen body, perfect for all your inking needs. Sweet! Can't wait to figure that out. Um, and then the, the last thing is the Faber-Castell Echo Pigment Fiber Tip Pen. This is a 360 retail. Uh, it's a staff favorite. Whether you're sketching or writing, you'll reach for the Faber-Castell Echo Pigment Fiber Tip Pen over and over again. The, this reliable fine liner pen features a sturdy metal clad 0.7 millimeter nib and a comfortable grip. Oh, it does feel pretty comfortable. Um, made from unused automobile plastic, this pen is highly recyclable. Sweet! Since its pigmented ink is light, fast, and waterproof, Oh yeah, you can lay ink or watercolor on top of your sketch lines carefree. That's awesome. I love, love waterproof. Okay, and now I will do the joke. All right, so how do artists flavor their food? The answer is with seasonings. <laughs> wow, nice. Um, so yeah. That was all the products, and I will totally do a video of me doing the Art Snacks Challenge in the future. I have quite a few Art Snacks boxes to get to. Kind of backed up because I got some for my birthday and for Christmas, but I'll get there. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you guys had a, a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye!